Alright guys and welcome back to yet again another FIFA 15 hybrid squad builder. In today's video I might bring you a team which does include the team of the season Pabon. I know this guy has been out for a very long time but I did originally build this squad uh, when he was originally released. I haven't actually got around to uh, playing with this squad though but uh, over the last few days I've been trying it out and it is incredible and definitely uh, one I'd recommend that you guys go build especially seeing though Pabon is so cheap for such an amazing player. Anyway guys if you do enjoy this video Make sure to drop a like. Kind of 50 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. Remember, every like does give a penguin at home. But anyway, going straight into this squad and first in goal, we're starting off in the Italian league, and that's because we've got Handanovic. You can actually play any goalkeeper from this league uh, in this position. will work for chemistry purposes. Personally for me, though, uh, Handanovic is my favourite goalkeeper from this league. Moving up into our defence, though, and firstly at right back, we've got Danilo. Going into the Portuguese league here, playing for uh, Porto, he has got 82 pace and 78 defending. That's the first centre back on the right hand side, back in the Italian league, this time now we've got Barzagli from Juventus. 75 pace and 86 defending, combining this with his low attacking and high defence work rates, really is a very solid centre back on the game. That's his partner on the left hand side, we've got his teammate, and again another insanely good centre back, that is Chiellini. Finally for our last defender in the left back position, we've got Marcelo, he's going into the third league of this squad already, and uh, that's because we're in the uh, Spanish league playing for Real Madrid. He's got 81 pace and 84 dribbling, and a great way to finish off a very solid defence. Moving up into our midfielders though, to start off with, on the right hand side, we've got Ricardo Caresma. Do need to convert him into this position, nevertheless though with 84 pace and 85 dribbling, as well as his 5 star skill moves, really is a very solid player in this position, and going into our centre midfielder, we've got Guarín. 79 rated overall, 85 physical and 78 shooting, really do make him a boss in the centre midfield, Nose managed to get quite a few goals from this position. And finally, for our last midfielder, on the left hand side, we've got Jesse Rodriguez. Going back into the Spanish league with Real Madrid, gaining another player with great pace down the wing, as you can see, 87 rated. And also having 83 dribbling, gaining another influential player in this team. And then moving up into our attack midfielders, start off with on the right hand side, back in the Portuguese league, and that's because we've got Quintero. Both these attack midfielders do need to be Colombian nationality for chemistry purposes. And taking that into consideration, Quintero really is a perfect player for this position. Now, his partner on left hand side, we've got again his international teammate, that is James Rodriguez, again playing for Real Madrid, 86 rated overall, 80 pace, 80 shooting, 84 passing, and 85 dribbling, again another very effective player from this position. Finally, then going up into our striker, we've got the main man of this squad, that is team of the season, Pabot. Only 8 rated overall, but in game, really does feel like one of the best players uh, on the game. As you can see, 92 pace, 83 dribbling, and 85 shooting. Really do just combine to make him one of the best strikers, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. If you could have 50 likes on this video, that would be insane. Remember, every like does give a penguin home. And also, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more FIFA 15 videos.